it's right by that car. That was, that was insane. That was insane. inside the National Reserve and we are in Sekinami Gate. We will be taking this gate only once because uh, once we get out of Masai Mara after four days, it is going to be in, in a different gate. So We are very excited. Guys, I'm also here. This is our honeymoon trip and we've been having a blast so far going around. So we started on Buseli. Yes. Then we did. We just came from Naivasha Lake. And now we are doing Masai Mara. So it's been like me and Ava's dream destination to go here. We've been thinking about Kenya and for years. And finally we made it happen. So we are very excited. And I think this is the fourth video blog that we've yes. been making here. So if you guys want to check out everything we've been doing, we have a Kenya playlist out. Whoa. Coming in hot. Let's go. I like your outfit. Thank you. So Ava's the one that's been like preparing our wardrobe for this trip. And I'm very excited for that because I'm not so good at those things. Hey, that was a little um, uh, stressful for us because upon entering the gate, there will be like Maasai ladies asking for photos, you know, but they will charge you definitely. So yeah, I don't know what's happening to Martin right there. Yeah, and he's being uh, bombarded by them. Oh, Martin is so nice. He just doesn't want to leave. I think we've only been driving for two minutes and we found Pumbas in the wild and there are a lot of Pumbas yeah <gasps> Wow, and there were zebras. In Hala. Here, let me show you yeah. guys. Let me show you guys from the car window. They're just right here. Zebras. And then we have wow. gazelle. Is it the gazelle, this one? Impala. 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 Beautiful animal. Wow. This one over here, too. to the resort <laughs> so many cows so the local tribe here are called the Masais they raise cattle and cows and and a lot of sheep that's their main livelihood so right now we have to wait until they have done what they need to do <laughs> mm. Ulengoti Safari Camp! Wow! Guys, we have arrived at the place we will be staying for three nights. We are so excited about this day. Hello! Welcome to Ulengoti Eco Camp. Thank, Thank you, you Ismail. And this is our guide, Ismail. 
This is your first appearance in the video, this video blog. <laughs> He's been taking us around all over Kenya now. Excited to have it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, they're dancing. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh wow, I want to see this. Wow. Hi. Thank you so much. Hey yeah, guys, we have arrived at Olengoti. After five hours of drive from Naivasha Lake. And we just had the most amazing check-in yeah. I think I've ever experienced. That was over the top. Yes. Super the cool. The singing and the dancing. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're checking in and we can't wait to find and see our tent. Like of all the places on the itinerary for our nine day safari here in Kenya. This was my most favorite one. So hopefully it lives up to the expectation. <laughs> Look at this place. Apple juice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, check out this tent, guys. That's so amazing, Ava. Look at the look at the bar right next to you. Oh, I want one of these. It's a luggage. Oh, this one. Uh, this could be my luggage. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Welcome to our sweet home. <laughs> this is so beautiful, this place is like... I feel like I'm in Tarzan movie. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Our oh my God. home for the next three nights. Our double bed, now a king size bed. It's so beautiful. I love these. Sheets. Yeah, like everything yeah. about this place is so Literally culturally cool. and special, huh? It looks so cozy. Yes. It feels like I'm in a cabin. I'm in love with this corner. I feel like it's a place where I can sit down and read a book, <laughs> you know? And we noticed the carpet and we yeah. noticed this really cool lamp. Yeah. Me and Albert are like <laughs> in love with the place. I think this is this is like some things that you don't see that much in some of the hotels, right? Absolutely. I remember like rich people back in the days would use this as their suitcase. Exactly. It's the Europeans when they traveled yeah. through Africa, they would travel with these on ships and it's still kept in the culture and here in the hotel. And we yeah, this one especially. How cool yeah, is this one? I would love to have that. <laughs> Moving forward to our bathroom, we have the Hisin her sink Ooh. made of a color. Upper. Wow, everything here is so unique, you know, like exactly everything is looks so custom the Toilet is right here. You still have some privacy, you know when someone is taking a shower with this view They said that there might be hippos at around 6 to 7 p.m. in this area. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, that is our Quick cabin tour. Hope you guys like it. Well, we love it at least. We and we're gonna it. be staying here for three nights. Yeah, we even have, oh, by the way, we have a veranda. We do. Yeah, might be nice to take photos here later and sip some coffee or tea while watching the hippos. Yeah, they told us that the hippos will be walking down in this river right here. Thank you, babe. I love you. Mm, you're the best. And upon check-in, they also told us that don't exit your room at night because we are inside the Masai Mara Reserve and there are wildlife around us. Like lions, yeah. hyenas, yeah. what's the last one? Hippos? Yeah, hippos. They're just walking freely around here, like we're part of the ecosystem right now. So, I mean, that's scary, but also kind of thrilling, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm hungry. Me too. Now let's eat. Five or six hours drive. 
Nasıl oldu? Albert, nice to meet you. Nice I'm Ave. Ah. Hello. Ready to go for a light? Yes, okay. I'm ready hungry. <laughs> That's so cool. Guys, so we have met our uh, security guard, Albert. He is from Masai Mara, meaning he's from this place. And he's now taking us to lunch. It's always nice to walk with a Masai, like from the local tribe, because they have machetes in case there's an animal. <laughs> Thank you, Albert. Thank you. Talk more later. Yes, we will. Ava, how good is this? <laughs> Oh my god, are you seeing that? <laughs> wow. Okay, so it's lunch time while watching the hippos. Yes, uh, no TVs, no phone. I'm not gonna use my phone. I wanna enjoy this moment because it's a once in a lifetime <laughs> thing, you know? We never get to do this. No. First course. This is a la carte. They serve it right to our table. This is our view. The hippos swimming. <laughs> How awesome is that? So cool, Ale. Oh my god. Okay. So we have an avocado chicken sandwich. Mm. <laughs> this is so nice. Wow. <laughs> We are spoiled, no? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Ooh. From so lovely. Wow. Perfect. Okay. I really love the wine glasses. Look at this. <laughs> Thank you, Francis. Yes. Francis, right? Francis. Francis, yeah. great. Francis. What do we have here? Yeah. Ooh. Quesadilla. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm enjoying this. I don't need my Wi-Fi, I don't need TV, tablet, my phone. This is something else. <laughs> yeah. This is a different type of luxury. Yeah. You know? I'm eating good food in front of them. <laughs> They're fighting down there now. Oh. So there was just like a little riot, we think, within the group. <laughs> Guys, the clock is now 4 p.m. and we are out for a game drive. And that means it's a game of chance. We're not sure if we're gonna find an animal. But we will do our best to look for them. There are lions here, and hopefully we can see one. But you, as you know, with nature, it's always a game of chance. We have a couple of hours on the Eco Resort. It's such a nice place, and we're so stoked that we're going to be staying there for three nights. So you guys are obviously going to see more to that. But now, on to Safari. Traffic again. <laughs> here in Kenya, it's not cars. It's cattle. <laughs> I really feel like giraffes, when they look at us, they're judging us. I'm like, huh? Oh. Our guide Ismail said that it's more difficult to find animals here because there are more um, bushes that they can hide in. So, better be looking very closely if you'll see a lion. There's also no signs yes. in this national park. So it's a lot more off-road and adventurous than mm -hmm. the other ones. Mm -hmm. It's a little gloomy, but we're still happy because we're in Kenya! Still 
beautiful for us, you know, Absolutely. to be here. What a dream. Dream destination for us. And every day just keeps getting better, like it's unreal. Seven giraffes right in front of us. And I think it's a family because there are three babies. This doesn't happen every day. This one is just like... So we've been hearing a lot of noise on the radio. And as you guys can see over there, there are a lot of cars lined up. That usually means that there is a big animal that has found that someone has spotted and then letting everybody else know. So you guys can see all the cars down there. Yeah, that was that was insane. That was insane. Hunting also. This is a cheetah. I, yeah. The fastest land animal alive. No. Probably it can get you. I know. There it is. You guys, I'm gonna zoom in for you. Is getting the big shots. So thrilling. It's like right next to us. Yeah. It's so scary because I'm afraid they that might attack us, you know? <laughs> Jump into the vehicle. That's so they're so close. Hold on, babe. Let's see. Now let's see if they're gonna eat something. Yeah. I think they're hunting. They are hunting. Because they're just... stupid. And it's really thrilling because we have to constantly position ourselves differently and anticipate where the animal might be. And it's a game of chance. We're not sure if we're gonna get the best shot, but we're really trying. Wow, this is so much cooler than what I write. I didn't know it was gonna be like this. <laughs> I know it's gonna be cool, but this is awesome. Yeah. You see, there's a hurdle of it's hunting them. It's actually cute from afar because us a little scared earlier. Okay, we are going down to the river looking for rhinos. It's the most difficult one to find. Yeah, and it's part of the big five. Yeah. We are like in 
down by this river now. Sometimes the animals come to drink. Woo! We all like to drink. We all like to drink, drink, you know what I mean? <laughs> we got a wine bottle waiting for us at the Safari Lodge. <laughs> Our guide told us to look for a black rock. And here you guys see, it. this is not part of any map. Like, this is part of the adventure here in Africa, guys. So different from what we are used to in Disneyland parks and stuff. Everything here is just off the grid and you have to hunt for it. feeding on something but they all got scared suddenly because they probably saw something and they're scared of it I wonder what it is what scares hyenas right <laughs> they're all going back wow the way they like go together is yeah so So it live. You see the wow. Yep. Yeah. When we were there is when I got the information. They just dropped. By oh, the time we got wow. here. Shit. That was so fast. It's it's already. And there were jackals too. Yeah. It's my first time to see one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Me too. It's like you just you don't see it in zoos, right? No. Yeah. yeah? Normally in zoos they will feed the, the people will feed the animals, but here they hunt for their own food. food. Yeah. Naturally. And they, they feast on it and they are in one group feasting just like a Buddha or something, <laughs> you know, it's so like cool. a celebration. Hold on baby boy. Hold on baby girl. River crossing. Yeah, it's okay. And then just click three or yeah, four. Three. Wow, babe, babe, look, it's gonna go out. Alright, we are back from that amazing safari. It's dark now. We can have the hippos chilling down here in the water. Super nice, dark vibe. But as I explained earlier, in order to go to dinner, we need a guard. 
and Ava is ready to go. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is Albert. <laughs> What's your name? I tell you my name at at the day. You don't remember? Oh no, I don't. Yeah. Albert. <laughs> oh, it's Albert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so bad with names. But now we're safe. So guys, there are no fences here on the property. That's why when we're moving between the reception and our villa, which is about 200 meters, we do need a guard. And you know, as you can see, it's pitch dark. You can't really see anything anywhere. You see the reception. And because it's been raining today, they've set up the dinner table inside reception area, which is a huge, nice tent, like an African safari tent, where um, we checked in earlier. And now they turned it into a dinner place. Welcome. Thank you, Albert. Welcome. Wow. <laughs> 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 